Hey guys, and welcome to Ardent Sports, and I'm here with my Week 10 NFL Season Predictions. Um, obviously, I already did the uh, Thursday night game of the Colts and the t Titans. I predicted the Titans, but got it wrong. So we are now going to move on to the rest of the games. Um, and we're just going to go right down the line here. I'm not going to do them um, in any particular order. So the Texans and the Browns. The Browns are coming off the bye. Um, most of these games are actually going to be really good games this week. Um, I feel confident that there's going to be a lot of good football this week. Um, not too many blowout games. Um, definitely a couple just because it's natural. But Texans and the Browns. I'm actually going to take the Browns. Maybe a little bit of an upset, but we're going to go with the Browns. Let's see. Then we got the Washington football team and the Lions. I know I said I was going to go down the list, but I am now, so... Um, I think the Lions and Matthew Stafford have a bounce back. I'm going to take the Lions. Jaguars and the Packers. I lied. There's definitely going to be at least one blowout, and that's going to be the Packers. Eagles and the Giants. The Giants are kind of turning it around, I got to say. Um, part of me almost wants to take um, the Giants in the upset, especially with them being home. The Eagles are coming off the bye, but you know what? I'm going to give it to the Giants. I think they can edge this one out. They're, excuse me, guys. They're at home. They're at MetLife. I think they can do it. Buccaneers and the Panthers. Buccaneers got smoked last week by the Saints. I don't think anyone saw that coming. Um, I think the Buccaneers bounce back. They're in Carolina, but I think they can bounce back against Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers. Next up, we have the Broncos and the Raiders. And I'm... This game is definitely going to be a fun game. <coughs> Sorry, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, I think that's... Hmm. You know, we'll give this one to the Raiders. Next up, we have Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers going off against Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins. And I think the Dolphins get this game done. So we're going to take the Dolphins over the Chargers. Next up, we have the Bills and the Cardinals. They're in Arizona. I'm torn on this one. I really am, guys. Um, the Bills beat the Seahawks last week, which was really good for them. Um, not a whole lot of people thought that the Bills would actually win that game. And the Cardinals are coming off of a loss to the Dolphins. I think the Cardinals lose in back-to-back -back weeks. I'm taking the Bills. Next up, we have the Seahawks and the Rams. Uh, the Rams are coming off the bye. They are our home in their stadium. Um, I got to give this one to Russell Wilson. I really do. So I'm going to take Seahawks over the Rams. Next up, we have the 49ers and the Saints. And I don't have a whole lot to say on this one. I'm taking the Saints all day. Then we have the Bengals and the Steelers. The Bengals are coming off the bye, but the Steelers are 8-0 for the first time in franchise history. I'm taking the Steelers. We have the Ravens and the Patriots. I definitely skipped a game, which I'll have to circle back to. At least I think I did. Maybe not. <clears throat> But the Ravens and the Patriots, I'm taking the Ravens, no questions asked. And the Vikings and the Bears on Monday night. This one is a lot tougher than I feel it should be. The Bears are a solid team, but the Vikings are starting to turn it around. I'm going to give this one to Minnesota. So those are my picks. On a bye this week, you have the Kansas City Chiefs, the Dallas Cowboys, the Atlanta Falcons, and the New York Jets. Um, really quick, guys. The picks this week are... I'm sorry, not the picks, but the record is... Your boy Hobo currently sits at 78-53-1, and, and I am 86-45-1. So, not really running away with it. He's keeping a very close distance within eight games. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. This is the number one way to help out the channel. Be sure to check out your boy Hobo's picks. 
and I promise you guys this week I will get back on track with getting the gameplay and just getting out before Thursday Night Football so I don't have to do two separate videos. But that is going to be it for me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you know when we help out the channel. I know I said that already, but oh well. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace and out.